Hi guys, welcome back. I think everyone considered at least once investing in a high performance filter, but most of us are probably thinking about air filters. Well, KNN is one of the most renowned brands out there, and they also make high performance oil filters. Now, to compare against the KNN filter, I've ordered a genuine filter from Volkswagen and I received a surprise delivery. I'll tell you all about it in a moment. So, in this episode, we'll perform a flow rate test which can show how much resistance does the filter have, a filtration test to see how effective are the filters in retaining particles, and a tensile strength test that can show how resistant is the filter media to pressure. Let's see what's what. Usually when I test oil filters, I always order two pieces from each brand. That's because one needs to be cut in half and analyzed, and the other one needs to be used in the filtration test. This time, however, when I received the genuine filters, I had the surprise to see that they were completely different. Well, by different I mean that they were produced by different suppliers and came in different packages. The overall dimensions were the same, otherwise they won't fit. One is produced by MAN and came in a brown package, and the other one is produced by Perflux and came in a white box. The price and part number was exactly the same. When I saw this, I was a bit disappointed, as I already tested both Perflux and MAN in previous episodes, and I thought that this would have the same results. But I was very wrong, and you'll see why during this episode. The funny part is that I needed two filters from each brand and I had to order another two genuine oil filters, but the second delivery came with Perflux filters and the MAN filters were no longer available, so I had to send them back. The good news is that we get to test genuine products supplied by two different manufacturers, as most probably different markets receive different products. I'm not sure how this happened, but I'm glad it did. However, in this situation it means that I have to perform all tests on just one oil filter. And we'll start with the KNN. First is the filtration test in which the filter will be placed in a testing jig that pumps 200 liters of oil to the filters and particles will be added to the oil. The particle dimension ranges between 10 and 45 micrometers and is a mixture of nickel, chrome and iron. The test simulates approximately 10 minutes of engine idle and will show us how good is the filtration performance. Once the test is complete, we'll cut a sample and place it under a microscope. KNN did an okay job, with most particles condensed inside the media crease and some small particles caught inside the filter media. We'll compare all three samples in a few minutes. Otherwise, the KNN had a surface area of 1809 square centimeters, a media thickness of 0.64 millimeters, and a dry weight of 82.08 grams. Next is the genuine Perflux filter, and the test will run exactly as before. The oil used for this test is 5W30 and it's heated to 50 degrees constantly to ensure accurate results. With the help of my Patreon members, I now have a thermal vision camera that can provide a lot of insight to the testing process for all kinds of products. I ordered this camera from Micronix, as they have a wide range of thermal cameras available at competitive prices. This video is not sponsored, but they were kind enough to provide a discount in exchange from some exposure in my episode. You can check them out at the link in the description. Looking at the Perflux sample, we can see that again, most of the particles are retained in the media crease with some small particles caught inside. We'll compare this genuine filter with the aftermarket product in a few moments. Dimension-wise, this filter has a huge surface area compared to the others at 2464 square centimeters and a media thickness of 0.86 millimeters. The dry weight of this filter is 88.75 grams. Last is the genuine MAN filter. In a previous episode, when I tested the aftermarket product from MAN, the results were somewhat inferior to the other products, but not a bad product by any means. At first glance, it seems like this genuine filter is different from the aftermarket alternative, most noticeable in the media material. Let's now see how it performs. Well, looking at the sample, we can see that the particle spread is much more even than with the other filters, so the particle retention capacity is better than on the others. 
The surface area of this filter is 2047 square centimeters. It has a media thickness of 0.83 millimeters and a dry weight of 73.23 grams. Looking at the side-by-side -side view, it's clear that the genuine MAN filter performed better. Now, if we compare the genuine filter with the aftermarket product, we can see again the difference. Keep in mind that these tests were performed exactly the same. The media of the aftermarket product is less dense with bigger pores through which the particles can escape. On the genuine filter, the pores in the media are much smaller and thus the retention capacity is higher. Clearly, the original filter is better than the aftermarket product. Now, to compare the genuine Perflux filter with the aftermarket one. Honestly, to me, it seems that in this case, the aftermarket product did a better job at retaining the particles, although it can be possible that the area from which the sample was cut received the less particles. In any case, it looks like the original and the aftermarket product use the same or very similar media materials and have similar performance. Now, let's move on to the next step, the flow rate test. In this experiment, a sample from the oil filters was cut and placed in a funnel, and 100 mm of oil will pour through it. A timer will start when the oil level passes the blue color. Every filtration system has a bypass valve installed. For the cartridge filter, the valve is built into the housing, and for the spin-on filter, the valve is built into the filter itself. The valve allows the oil to flow around the filter, if the pressure is too high. If it weren't for this valve, oil pressure would rupture the filter media. I'm not sure if you watched my first filter comparison when I tried to perform this test with cold oil. It literally took 15 minutes for just a few drops to pass through the media. You can imagine the pressure that would be created if not for this valve. This is another reason why you need to use the correct oil viscosity in your car. If you use thicker oil, most of it will flow around the filter and no filtration would, would be performed. For a few minutes after you start the engine, the oil in every car flows around the filter, until the oil becomes hotter and thinner to flow through the filter. So, oil flow rate is important in minimizing the time in which the oil flows around the filter through the bypass valve. The first to finish is the genuine mount filter. Second is the KNM. And last is the genuine Perflux filter. And now for the final test, the tensile strength. A tensile failure of the filter media is unlikely, especially if the filter is replaced frequently. I decided to perform this test in order to have a control measurement for future products that will test and will be much cheaper than these ones. As for the setup of this experiment, I've cut samples from each filter that were placed in oil and heated to 100 degrees Celsius for 20 hours. The filtration material becomes more and more fragile with exposure to heat. So I thought about how to perform this test for some time in order to simulate oil pressure on the media. A simple method like pull it until it breaks would not recreate the same real-life conditions. So I made a jig that pushes on the material more or less like oil would push on the filter media. The sample is placed at the end of a tube and a piston is pressed on it with increasing weight until it breaks. In order to measure the exact weight, I used a measuring cup that I filled with water. This has a volume of 1 liter or the equivalent of 1 kilogram. So I just increased the weight until the sample failed and then I measured the volume of water. Three cycles were performed and the result is the average between these cycles. First is the KNN, average weight is 3225 grams. Next is MAN with the average weight of 5353 grams. Next is PERFLUX with the average weight of 4152 grams. So we can see that the MAN has the best results, followed by Perflux with a 22% lower score and last is KNN with a 40% lower score. Now that the tests are over, let's take a look at the result. The KNN had good results, although for a high performance or high flow, whatever they advertise, I expected better results. It also has a smaller surface area than the other products and thinner media. 
Project Farn also tested the Canon air filter and the results were very interesting. You should watch that, I'll link it in the description. Now for the genuine filters, I'm surprised to see different results, especially for the flow rate. The Perflux flux filter finished 15 seconds after the MAN filter. The media thickness seems to be similar, but looking under a microscope, in my opinion, MAN is better. If we compare the genuine Perflux filter with the aftermarket product, I would say that the aftermarket product is a better choice if the price is lower. As for the MAN filter, in my opinion, the genuine filter is better than the aftermarket product by a long shot. In conclusion, if you plan on buying the can and filter for the performance it advertises, you should skip it, as it doesn't provide any significant benefits in using it. It's not a bad product, it's just a normal oil filter. <laughs> The Genuine MAN product is a very good quality filter and is a solid recommendation. The aftermarket product, <laughs> not so much. The Genuine Perflux filter is almost the same as the aftermarket product. A good filter, but if the aftermarket is cheaper, you should go for that. So that's all I have for you today, I hope that this information was useful to you. If you like it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you wish to support me in making these episodes better, please consider becoming a Patreon member at the link in the description, as all funds raised there will be used in providing you with more content and you get to be the first to see the results. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, where I post behind the scenes content and projects that I'm working on. Until next time, wishing you all the best, bye bye. The system has a bypass valve installed.